Hey there, I'm Elise Archer, video confidence and lead generation strategist. And I actually want to share a really good question that came up in my group coaching call today, which is how the heck do you do a good call to action at the end of your videos? And I thought this was a really good question. I actually hadn't thought about um, the fact that a lot of people are probably wondering that. And so what I want to share with you, just a few tips on how to do a good call to action first how do you know if you're not doing a good call to action? Well, most likely you're not getting a lot of engagement or you're not getting a lot of people taking action on what you invite them to do at the end. Um, or you're not inviting them to do anything in which case you don't have a call to action. So we want to do a call to action because we want to, you know, you're not, you're probably not doing video content just for the sake of doing it. You know, you're creating content to generate leads and to grow your business. And so if those things aren't happening as a result of the content you're putting out there, one of the places to look is how you're doing your call to action. So a couple of pointers that I would say, number one, you want to have a good mix of more soft calls to action and more direct calls to action. Um, for a great resource on this, you can check out Gary Vee's book, Jab, 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 Right Hook. Uh, it was written a couple years back, but it's still really, really good as a resource to help you just figure out what the right content mix is for your videos. But a soft call to action is going to be more like, Hey, comment below. Let me know what your biggest question is, or here's a resource I have for you. A direct call to action is going to be more, Hey, if you're wanting help with this, my team and I are really good at helping people solve this problem. And if you want to get support in that, here's how you can contact me. So you want to have a mix of those, but you want to skew heavy on the soft ones or value add. So I'll typically do, I would say maybe 25% of my videos are a more direct call to action. 75% are probably a softer call to action. The other reason why you always want to have a call to action, no matter what, is you want to train people to take action. So even if you are not doing a direct call to action or inviting people to book a call with you or sign up for XYZ product, you still want to get them in the habit of taking action when they watch your video content. So a very soft call to action could be something like I said before, you know, let me know in the comments below what your biggest question is or what your biggest takeaway was from this content. And then the direct call to action is going to be just what it sounds like, right? But either way, we want to make sure there's always a call to action at the end of your video to train people to take action and to get them further along in the relationship with you. So that's really it is always have one mix up your soft and direct. Uh, again, I think a good proportion is probably 25% direct, 75% soft, but find the balance that feels right for you. Uh, now I, this video would be weird if I didn't do a call to action, right? So my call to action for you now is if this was helpful and if you're trying to figure out how to grow your business, how to grow your brand, how to grow your sales. Oh gosh, guys, you know what? It's funny timing. I've got the long guy right outside as I record this video. And so I don't know if you can hear this or not, but sometimes in, uh, in the video world, you just have to keep going. So sometimes you can redo a call to action if you need to. And if you're trying to grow your business or brand or sales and figure out how to do it on video, I have an ebook um, that I have put together for you and it's totally free of charge. It is something I will be charging for in the future, but I'm giving it away for free right now just to help people as they transition more of their businesses online into video. Um, so if you are in mortgage, real estate, financial services, or um, insurance, I've got an ebook specifically for you on video confidence and lead generation. Just shoot me a message or send me an email, elise at elisearcher.com, and let me know which one you want, and I will be more than happy to get it on over to you. All right. I hope that helped start doing those awesome, powerful calls to action at the end of your videos, and I will see you soon for our next video. Bye for now.